All right. Good morning to you. Welcome back to Shave Room and Fuzzing. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all this morning? So it's uh, Saturday morning. Going in to work the back gate at work today. So, you know, it'll be a day. Shouldn't be too bad. Going to be training new people, I understand. That's always fun. So we're going to get a good start today with a good shave and a good cup of coffee. And I'll tell you about all that here in a minute. But first, I'm using the... Uh, I'll tell you about the soap in a minute too, but I'm using the uh, brush scuttle today. So I'm going to go ahead before I do anything else, get me some soap loaded up on the old brush, which is not hard to do. There was once a guy said to load your brush soap upside down, that it helped it get down into the bristles. Okay. You know, I say a lot of people do a lot of things. Anyway, here we go. So we're going to get some of the old soap here. You'll notice how nice it's loading up on the brush there. Well, this is a soap that I've had for a little while. It's called the Shave Factory. Excuse me. Shaving Factory Shaving Soap. And I get it from... Hey, it's a nice little, nice little cake there. And I put it in this wooden bowl. I get it from the same place that I get... Uh, my Clubman Shave products and, and refills of the uh, Clubman Aftershaves and things like that. There's a place called Drug Emporium over in Lafayette, Louisiana. And they're a health food store and vitamin store, that, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, they have all this stuff. So I picked up, was looking the other day, and I've had this soap for a while. But I didn't realize, this is a Turkish soap. Made in Turkey. How you like it? And right tops on the ingredients list is potassium tallowate. So this is a uh, tallow first soap from Turkey. It's two dollars, a dollar ninety nine, for a one point seven five ounce cake, which is not really big, I understand. But uh, I just didn't realize that this was another. Uh, this was another Turkish soap, but it says right there on the bottom of the right there on the bottom of the pack, made in Turkey. How you like it? I like it a lot. Now that explains why the lather so lather is so good on these stuff. I've always enjoyed it. So another thing why I got over there is they've got coffee at pretty good prices. They have the boxes of the K cups with the cure for the uh, for the uh, French market that I like. They have them for like five dollars for the twelve buck, which twelve count, which is good. But they didn't have the coffee and chicory this time. So what I ended up getting was Cafe de Bon. They had a 12 ounce pack of it for four bucks. Uh, the ground coffee with chicory. So that's what we're drinking this morning. Is the Cafe de Bon. So I'm a little bit excited because I didn't realize this was a Turkish soap. And uh, Turkish soaps are just, you know, good stuff. They're great. So here we go. We're going to get a shave. As you can see, we do have a couple of days ago because uh, we were off. We... Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's now my weekend. And then every other weekend, we should be off Saturday, Sunday. But instead of being off every other Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're off every other Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then the weekend that we work the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're off the Saturday, Sunday. It's not as confusing as it sounds. And it's actually kind of nice. You still get the three days off. And uh, I'm getting a little extra time this week. Today, I would actually... Uh, Normally work the main gate, but I'm working the back gate, which is fine. I get the way trucks in and Bill Waymaster. And, no, I'm really not the Waymaster. We actually have folks. They have folks with another company that do that. I just have to weigh a few trucks in every once in a while. All right, so as you can see, this here soap does a really good job. Just like you would expect from a Turkish soap. It's got a scent, and now it kind of makes sense. Excuse the snot. Now it makes sense as to the scent on the soap. It has that Turkish soap scent. It's a soap scent. It's hard to describe. It's not Arco. It's not, uh, what is it? Uh, what is that other one? GBZ or whatever it is. It's not that, but it is a, uh, a really nice scent. And for two bucks, even if it is kind of a small, small cake, not a bad price. Now they also have a shaving mug and a brush, and I haven't got a hold of the brush. The mug is like the uh, DDH luxury. Uh, it's the uh, got the little handle on the side, a, a possumy, 
mug, baby. And I know y'all love when I try to pronounce things like that. There's you another one to throw in your book. All right. So, razor today. We got one of those. We're going to use the old Superior, about a 1900 model, I think it is. And uh, it's what I remember right off the top of my head. Or was, no, no, no. Maybe this is about a 1902 model. Anyway, early 1900s. I haven't looked it up recently. I don't remember things like that. But anyway, Superior. It's got the uh, kind of a closed comb there like we would use with the, uh, it's really similar to what the, some of the other razors came up with in that era. So anyway, there we go. Not an open comb. Got a little scroll work on the back and stuff like that. Really nice on the tabs. Uh, the, the tab there that holds the blade in tight. So it works really well with a modern blade. It also works with a wedge blade, which I'm going to do a wedge blade shave here for long. I'll get to get it out and, uh, well, uh, We'll get it out and have a shave of one here for long. These old ladder catchers are just great. I say that about just about every razor I use because if I don't, you know, razor's not a good razor, why well, have it around? But these old ladder catchers are really, really nice. They're really fun and they're really loud. Listen to that. I like it. I like it. That's the sound of a working blade to me. All right. Make sure we got the side burn straight. Now, you'll notice that under the chin here, we go up for a while, and then there's a patch that we leave to go down. And that's because that's the way the hair growth goes. It's a good idea to know how your beard growth is. It'll help get you away from irritation and things of that nature. So if I'm gonna go with the pass on the first, with the grain on the first pass, which is what we do, then pretty much it's all just straight down, except for that little spot under my chin, which has to go up. And once I get the first pass done and I go to the across the grain stuff, it doesn't matter, it can all go the same direction. How you like that for a second pass of lather? All righty. There we go. Get it going on. the grain here. <clears throat> Hold that thought just a sec. <coughs> Sometimes you just got to call. Sorry about that. We don't edit videos around here. Uh, little cross grain thing going there. Under the old ear. Over here, we'll come across the grain again. Come up a little bit around the goat's teeth. Oops, look like I got kind of out of the camera. This is a little bit different spot for the camera today. Yeah, yeah, maybe it'll work. Also back on the iPhone. For I don't know. A lot of people like the video quality better on the iPhone, and I may have figured out how to get a camera shot that's decent. I don't know if this is decent or not. It's probably better than it was. Eh? Huh? Eh? What do you think? Hmm. I don't know, but that's good copy. I do know that. All right. Let's clean this up and see what we got. So that makes three Turkish soaps I have in the den now. So Turkish Tuesday, or Turkish Thursday, could be a little more of a mix now. That's all right. That is definitely all right. There we go. Well, that's what we got so far. 
cleaned all that growth off just like we knew it would. We knew there wouldn't be any problem with that. And here we go. Yada, yada, yada. Witch Hazel. Oh, boy. Ate some good gumbo last night. I actually cooked the gumbo. Sort of. I cheated. I did. I didn't make my own roux. I cheated. There's a company around here called uh, Carrie's. And they make roux and then they put it in a jar for you. Well, they also make powdered roux in a, a kit, kind of. Well, it's just a box, not really a kit. Then you add all the other stuff you would add to a gumbo. That's what I made. Chicken and sausage gumbo with Carrie's roux. I'll give them credit for it. It was good. It was really, really, really good. Now, can I make my own roux? Probably. I've done it. I'm not the world's greatest. I'm not a Cajun. I'm a redneck. But using the, the mix there, it came out really, really, really good. So I'm not complaining. All right. Look at there. Well, there's our Saturday morning shave going on. Look at it. Boys. And it feels just as nice as it looks. Trust me on that one. We'll get everything cleaned up here and get some more coffee. I actually made enough coffee to stick a little bit in the thermos to take with me to work today. But there we go. So here we go. Shaving factory. Yeah, another good soap to put on the list. Good lather. It's got that Turkish soap sense. Now that I know that it's from Turkey, it makes, it makes sense as to what it smells like. It really does. It says, uh, shave like a man. Yeah. All right, well, you know, and the ladies would probably like this one too because it doesn't have that bad a scent. It'd probably work real good for them too. So there we go. Shave like a man, even if you're a lady. How does that work for you? All right, we all have a great day. Remember, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you. And, you know, have a good cup of coffee. We'll talk to you later.